in other news, we had a huge windstorm and I was planning on making a whole pond hunt. You guys have been asking about the pond. Yep, we set a bunch of decoys on it. It looked amazing. I mean, it looked amazing. And I'll show you what I mean. Yo! What up guys, real quickly, before we get into this banger of a video, I wanna tell you that today's video is brought to you by Uncut Outdoors. Uncut Outdoors is a uh, raw hunting content footage that y'all wanna see and that we, as creators, can't get messed with, censored, you know, all the things that might happen on this platform. Well, they can't happen over there. I will link it in every single description from now on. Go down there, check it out. Use my link to give me some credit. Uh, but raw hunting uncut videos over there. Uh, showing everything I, I want to show you. Uh, talking about everything that I can't on here. Doing what I want, which I can't all the time on here. So long story short, we're giving away... Uh, actually, Rob is giving away a brand new bass boat, truck to pull that bad boy. Uh, I'm giving away a hunt over there. So if you guys want to check it out, hit the link down in the description. Uncut Outdoors. Um, every single week, it's filled with nothing but uncut content that y'all have been asking for. But without any further ado, let's get into it, guys. Yo! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Wait Start a minute. A Wait a minute. Day. I just didn't have the audio levels up. There we go. Oh, there we go. That's, he's all he's on top of it. Had a lot of good comments about the filming. Except the last video. Yeah, a guy was like, you need to tell your camera guy to film the birds better. <laughs> it was the biggest spin of the year I had to shoot. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, I just going. left it up. Yeah. Hey, this is real life out here. We don't have a whole production crew. This isn't the freaking Discovery Channel out here. Uh, we do what we can. But we got Frederick. Uh, this is a hometown field hunt. Uh, this field in particular, I'll show you it here in a little bit. I'll show you the gap in the trees and what makes this field so special. Uh, the geese have been slamming in here for, I don't know, the last three, four, five years, and I have never one time seen anybody hunt this field. Um, and I think it's because people might think that it's in the city limits and the owner is like a weird, it's a big company, like an enterprise, something, something, enterprises. Uh, so long story short, I've never seen a decoy in this field. Um, I'm really excited to hunt it. It's a cut bean filled with wheat planted in it, and they have been... Have you? Did you look at the wheat out there? Yeah, I can see it's torn up. Oh, they, it is mowed flat. Yeah. They've been in here quite a while already, probably a week. So uh, we're going to bust them out of here for the farmer. He wants them out of here badly. Other news. Um, what do we got going on? We got some open hunts. If you guys want to come hunt January, February, we have some availability. DM me on Sand Hill, Sand Hill Flyway. I will respond or my wife will respond. Uh, very, very, very limited spots, but we got a few. And definitely use Sand Hill Flyway. I had three people DM me yesterday. <laughs> yeah, don't DM <laughs> Preston, don't DM me, Drew. I guess Drew, he can probably check his decently. But uh, Sand Hill is where, if you want to get on some of these this season hunts get a hold of me now and we'll get you in there we have some spots for two four six a lot of twos though father sons whatever come on and experience it we've been having a good time I did not have the GoPro on for that. I hope P. Diddy got it. You get all that? No, I got all that. Good pretty. deal. That was pretty. <laughs> Ooh, that was, that's a lot of birds. Come on. There we go. Here we go. Here we get ready. 
Uh, one more, one more, guys. Keep your faces down. Way guys. down. <laughs> Here it is. Get ready. Shoot him out front, guys. Brand. Dead bird. Dead bird. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. Let's go, guy. We got work to do. Come on. Back. Good. Fetch it up. Hold. Let's go. Here. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. Right here. Right here. Back. Well, they did not want to land. They did not figure out how to get in. They, yeah, so. they're struggling getting in. We should have just shot them over the top, but I thought that they were going to give it up like the other two groups. Fred. Come on, Fred. Let's go. Come on. Back. Here we go, here we go, they love it. They love it. Dude, that was so pretty. Come on, let's go, let's go. Just keep filming with that. I'm gonna turn this off. Oh, did you ever notice that one, Brad? I did not. Well, walker Touch it up! <laughs> dude. I left all the walkers. What? Beautiful. That was good. Did Shooting. Good on there? <laughs> we haven't looked at that yet. Woo! A little bit. Holy cow. Tell me that wasn't beautiful. That was awesome. <laughs> what a rain out. What Dude, was that? 10 plus? Probably. That was amazing. We had to stop calling. There's that many geese, they get that loud. They don't like the calling coming from the trees. So when they bunch up and they get that loud, you just shut up and they put their feet down and did it. Shoot that one over the top, guys. Shoot him. Nice oh, shot. <laughs> Fred. Good shot. That's the one I was talking about, the low one. Good oh, shot. Who was that? Nice. That was awesome. Fetch it up. Let's go. Here. Hold it. Those are some big lessers there. Almost donkeys. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Come on. Drop. Drop. That, that's a that's definitely a small honker. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's an in-betweener. That's an in-betweener, yeah, He's for sure. Top low, get ready. Shoot him right there, guys. Nice. Fred. Fred, dead bird. Yeah, they're bigger lessers, aren't they? Got one. That'll work. Fetch it up. Hold. Hold. Here. Here, Fred, here. 
<laughs> no band. Very cool. It worked out. Uh, there, some of the groups that worked over the top, I didn't call the shot, and they went and landed with a big feed. And I think not calling those shots on those pro shots on those three groups really, really helped because they came back. They weren't scared to come back an hour later. Um, the secret. So this video is about the seat. One of my top secrets to goose hunting. You know what that is? Uh, weird winds. That might be. Backward wind. If you have, if you're where the geese want to be and you have a backward wind, still send it. Because the one thing you really need to worry about is the hide. Hide, hide well. The biggest secret that I use to goose hunting, and a lot of you probably know, and I've said it so many times, we're on structure today. See how big the trees are? They're not huge. It's a medium sized tree, right? Um, when you get a big flock of geese, this only works like on a big flock, like I would say 50 or more because when they bunch up, they get real loud. When they get loud and they like it, completely stop calling off the structure. Um, if you keep calling loud, they can pinpoint the sound and they won't like it. If you can get their attention while they're coming and they get bunch up, get real loud, just shut up. And that's what we did the last time. We did it twice today. And I've, we've done it every single time I can, and when it does work, against big structure. You're out of the decoys, you're away from them. So just remember that. If, if there's a bunch of geese, get their attention. When they start sitting their wings, be quiet. Be quiet, let them do it. Um, the spread today was right at 25 dozen, so not a bunch. Um, when there's that many geese, they'll overpower these 25 dozen geese on the ground, per se. So. That's a good tip. It's, it's one that I, uh, I learned a long time ago and it's one that every outfitter, I can guarantee if they know what they're doing, uses when they're hunting tall trees. The wind, so our hide's back here. The wind is coming right here. There's this big gap in the trees. Every year they sit right between them. They're real comfortable landing in between these. So I put the big pile of decoys over here so they could come through the trees and land to the left. And the last time they did it, they came through here, started landing, started landing, kept landing, kept landing, all the way in front of us. I love really wide, just wide spreads. Not small with a little kill hole, but wide spreads, backwards wind, good hide. They work right over the top. That was awesome, guys. If you enjoyed that one, come on. Smash a thumbs up. And if you guys want any more tips, if you have any questions, drop a comment down below. I'll try to start including them um, in the videos like this. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. There we are, pile time. Did perfect. There, brothers. There we are, all lessers and a small hunker. That's definitely a small hunker. Good looking pile though. They did it really nice today. Yeah. <laughs> real good guy, real good guy. Yeah. <laughs> I ran by a priest and a minister walking through a wall. <laughs> How'd it go today, Brad? Not too bad. What, fill the limit? Yeah. Uh, a little rough on the wind situation. The setup we had was a little iffy, but we still did it. It was good to get back down here and, and see some lesser killing action. You guys have been on a hot streak. Yeah. Tomorrow we're gonna get after some ducks. Thank the Lord. Oh. Over water. Yeah. The geese, Always. the geese did it good today, but I'm sick of it. Same, same scene every time. Yeah, yeah it'll be hopefully we can get on some ducks while the wind doesn't look like it's going to be very good yet. That's hopefully, fine for ducks over hopefully, water. Hopefully it'll freeze over to where we can bust a little hole and that'll be the only open water out there so it won't really matter. Yeah. We'll see with it. What do you got to say? Not much. Another beautiful day. Good day to have a day? Good day to have a good day. Well, it is Christmas Eve, and uh, this video ended up being a lot shorter than I wanted it to. Awesome hunt. Like you all know, I like to come back and recap the hunts. 
Uh, first off, it's a blessing to hunt that field. Uh, I believe I am one of the only people, probably not ever to hunt it, but to hunt it in a long time. Let's put it that way. Amazing hunt though. Uh, big shout out to David, uh, the owner, farmer, for letting me hunt that field. I've been wanting to hunt it for years. Uh, I knew it was gonna be good. It never fails when you find a feed on a field that has never been hunted or not hunted in a very long time seems to always work out pretty darn good on that first go. But in other news, we had a huge windstorm and I was planning on making a whole pond hunt. You guys have been asking about the pond. Yep, we set a bunch of decoys on it. It looked amazing. I mean, it looked amazing. And I'll show you what I mean. Now, it looks awful real bad and the reason is is because we had that huge wind storm come through yep all you guys watching probably had it too i don't know what was it last week been waiting to show you all this check it out uh, it's gonna be a mess to clean up here's the pit blind and here is the lovely pond yeah i put a bunch of uh snow goose decoys out here and you can tell what happened to them the wind capes came swooping in from the west, completely wrecked them. I have no idea how many full bodies are at the bottom of the pond that you can't even see. Look at the side of that one. His whole face is just covered in dirt because of the wind. Yeah, it's an awesome deal. Look, just absolutely wrecked it. Uh-huh. Yep decoys look we've got a decoy all the way over there we've got decoys all the way over here Oof. Oof. dad gum uh, me and Bodie gonna have to put on our waders come out here and do some work we got decoys everywhere there's one all the way over there we have not had any rain and I do not have the well installed yet but it's been over two months since we've had any you know amount of rain to speak of and it's still holding really well so that tells me it is very much worth putting a well out here and keeping this bad boy full uh, i'm pretty sure i'll get approved for a recreational permit so it'll be nice we'll be able to keep her full keep her full hunt her whenever we want to out of the pit blind it'll be amazing but I got a mess on my hands and I got to get these snow goose decoys out of here because the sun's starting to fade them. The full bodies I'm really not worried about because they're used and yeah, they're used, but my floaters, they're brand new. I've only literally used them probably one time. I bought them last year, but unfortunately we have a mess on our hands. I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos. Um, like I said, probably somewhere in this video if not every video i try to preach it as much as i can youtube is what it is for hunting now and there's a handful of us hunting youtube channels that have created what is called uncut outdoors yes there's a website just like this platform and yes there's an app you download uncut outdoors uh, and it's really awesome. Uh, we're trying to fix the bugs every single day, but it's really came a long ways in the little amount of time that it has existed. So over there, um, I am providing myself and I think most of the others, but I'm gonna speak for myself. I am providing exclusive videos that are just gonna be seen over there. And they're raw, they're uncut. I can say the words I wanna say. I can drink what I wanna drink. I can do what I wanna do. Uh, I don't have to censor much here. I got to censor everything. So if you guys want to check it out, uh, we're doing, we're giving away <sighs> Rob's, um, he's giving away a very expensive bass boat, a very expensive uh, truck to pull that bad boy. Um, I'm going to be giving away a hunt, exclusive hunt to come here to Sand Hill Flyways and hunt with us. So lots of giveaways to happen over there. Uh, go check it out. If you do check it out, use my URL, my link. It's always in the description. I'll put it at the top of the at the uh, description on this video. But thank you all for being here. Have a Merry Christmas. 
have happy holidays. Spend this time with family. Put down your phones. Put them away, turn them off. Seriously, put down your phones. Tomorrow during Christmas, put them away. Talk to your family, not to your phone. Until next time.